Hey y'all, finally doing a video on the Cherokee. This is the final update on it. We're actually putting it up for sale. We've been working on this one for a while. It's the uh, the Blue 2000, so let's go check it out. Uh, we just got to uh, doing final detail on it. So the moments y'all been waiting for, the 2000 4x4 Patriot Blue Jeep Cherokee Classic XJ. It's bone stock, this is a California for most Pretty much all its life, it spent the last couple years in Oklahoma City, which is uh, the gentleman that owned it, um, sold it to us. He lived in Oklahoma City. So anyways, um, he was a very good caretaker of the vehicle. It was in pretty decent shape when we got it, but the paint was all gone. So no major body damage or anything like that. There's a few small little dings here and there, you know, um, door dents, things like that. Uh, typical wear and tear. This is a 22 year old vehicle. So. Uh, we spent a long time uh, just being real nitpicky getting all that out as well as giving it a brand new two-stage factory light paint job. This quality of this paint is uh, just as good as the original. It should last another 20 years. Um, one word about our paint jobs. So this car is, or Jeep I should say, is what I call a refurbishment, not a full restoration. So basically what a refurbishment is, is we go through the vehicle, fix any and everything that's broken, worn out, um, needs replacement, etc but it is still a 22 year old vehicle. It has not been completely torn down to the frame and rebuilt from the ground up with all brand new parts. That to me would be a true restoration. Uh, we actually have the capability to do that, but you get into some pretty serious money doing that. So I like to keep these things somewhat <laughs> in a reasonable price range, but this is about as close as you're gonna get uh, without doing a full on restoration. And I thought it turned out beautiful. I'm super excited about it. It's wearing five. Uh, brand new Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. I say five because we also did the matching full-size factory spare that's in the back end. Um, it's got new seals on it, new fluids. It's been serviced. Uh, anything that was broke, like I said, we fixed. We finally got the AC operating uh, correctly. At least I hope, I believe. We replaced pretty much everything. <laughs> we even did the evaporator and heater core, uh, which is kind of a big job on these. So, Anyways, the AC seems to be working. Everything on this car seems to be functioning as is, at least right now. I'm trying to work out electrical gremlins, things like that. I think we finally got all the locks and windows working. We'll see. But uh, finally got the fog lights working. So this is a classic package, so it's got a few upgrades on it. With the classics, uh, you get the matching trim, obviously. Fender flares. You also get the upgraded wheels. These are 16s as opposed to the standard like 15-inch steelies that come on the you know, SEs and sports. I really like this look, the matching look, especially with this Patriot Blue. It really pops, um, especially when you see it in person. I don't know what the lighting's like in here on the camera, but let me take you around the car a little bit. Obviously, there is zero body damage, zero cosmetic, because it's all been completely redone. It even has new OEM uh, factory decals on it. So, Wheels are in great shape, there's no corrosion. This vehicle has zero, and when I say zero, I mean not even patina, zero rust. So, um, it had, did spend almost its entire life in California, and it looks like it. You could eat off the undercarriage. Uh, contact us, we have a ton of undercarriage photos as well as some other things on the car. I'm sure I'm gonna leave out in this video, so. Anyway, but it's completely rust-free. Really, really good example. I don't think it's ever been off-road. At least it doesn't look like it. There's no scrapes on the skid plates. There's no rock dings. I'm pretty sure this is a Paven Princess. And um, yeah, this uh, this is it's kind of a survivor. It's a good one. Just really impressed with the overall condition of the vehicle as far as the rust goes. Let me bring you around here. Uh, this is automatic. The AW4 Asian Warner automatic transmission made it to the 242 or 4.0 liter inline six, AMC inline six, as most of these were, especially the classics. Uh, it's a uh, 231 command track four by four system. So it's just four high, neutral, four low, and a two wheel drive. As opposed to the 242, it's got the full time. It's kind of a little bit different system. Anyway, this is the regular command track. Just man, this is, it's got a mirror finish to it. I absolutely love it. And by the way, these are up there to find. If you guys know where to find these reproduction or new old stock, let me know, because these 4.0 liter decals are getting pretty hard to come by these days. Let me show you the interior. It's got a lot of upgrades on it, like I said, being, being a classic. You get the upgraded seats with the headrests, uh, full-size factory spare, cruise control. I'm trying to think of what else comes on it. Uh, 
This one, strangely enough, doesn't have the upgraded factory radio. It's got the standard tape deck, uh, which we did find a new one and put it in because the original one was broke, not working. So everything functions as it should on this Jeep. You redid the seats, redid the headliner. We kept the original factory uh, carpet mats. They uh, were in pretty decent shape. We usually replace those and put new ones in, but these were in such good shape, we decided to go and keep them. I thought it was kind of cool that they were original. Heat works great, AC works great, cruise control works. This is an ABS vehicle, it's got ABS on it. It was one of the uh, options that was, well, optioned on the vehicle. Factory fog lights work, they're new, they've been replaced. Let me pop the hood, show you the engine. I'm gonna start it up after that so you can hear how quick yapping. Engine cleaned up real well. It was pretty clean to begin with, actually. It was just dusty, but cleaned up real well. It's not covered in oil like most of them are. Runs and drives great. I've driven it, uh, we, I've vetted this vehicle out pretty good. I've been driving it for the last couple weeks, so just kind of trying to get a feel for it, see how it's gonna do, you know, in different situations. I've driven it uh, to and from my house to work, uh, driven in Dallas traffic. We're in DFW, traffic's pretty bad here sometimes. I've had it in 100 degree heat. I've had it in a little bit colder temperatures. It hasn't been that cold, but probably 70, 60 degrees. It seems to run pretty good in every situation. So let me uh, quit yapping and uh, let me start it up so you can hear it. Let me get the fog lights going for you so you can see. If you guys have any questions about this Jeep Cherokee, contact us anytime. Check out our website, johnsonmotorsales.com. You can also check us out on Facebook. Uh, feel free to call us anytime, 940-808-2382, or you can email us, johnstonmotors54 at gmail.com. It goes directly to me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, undercarriage pictures, etc. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you some more interior shots in just a sec. Steering wheel cover. The steering wheel is actually in really good shape. That cover is on there to preserve the original factory steering wheel because they are kind of fragile if you're driving them a lot. People working on the car, getting in and out of it all the time. Uh, they, they tend to deteriorate, so if you don't like the cover, whoever buys this can take it off. Anyway, I have pictures of the steering wheel as well. So, uh, I will meet you inside. I'm going to do a demo on uh, some of the functionality of the vehicle, and uh, we'll do a walk around shot. And get in. 